Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Rumba. In the last episode, we basically explored the entire school and got ourselves as many coins as I could find. And then I went and turned them all in for some prizes and presents and stuff. The question is now, who are we hanging out with today for the free time in the morning? Um, do I want to hang out with my girl Sakaya some more or not? Or Sayaka? I keep calling her Sakaya. It's Sayaka and I know it is. I need a new name for you so I can stop saying your name wrong. We could just call you Britney Spears. No, we're not gonna do that. You see? Oh, Makoto, you wanted me? <laughs> just kidding. Should I talk to Sakaya for a while? Sakaya! I keep saying it. I keep saying it. Sayaka. I need another name for you so I can stop. I need a two syllable thing, because I'm. I can. I. Uh. Alright, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. I'm hanging out with Sayaka one more time, and then we'll, f we'll hang out with somebody else the next time. How about that? I just want to see what happens when you, like, double up on someone this early on. So anyway. Oh, you want to talk for a bit? Sure, that sounds nice. I mean, shit, maybe it's like freaking Persona where you just... It doesn't matter who you do, you, as long as you do everyone. At, like, or at least a little bit of everybody. And then you just focus on the ones you want to pursue, basically. Anyway, spent time hanging out with Sayaka for a while. Grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Fuck yeah! So basically, uh, somebody told me in the comments that... Um, you don't really need to give a present on the first quote-unquote date. So the first time you talk to somebody, you don't need to give them a present, even though it asks you if you want to. You don't have to. But every time after that, if you can, you should. So let's see what I can give her. I have no idea if it matters. Um, the rose hip tea might be good for her. What else might be good for her? Bird seed doesn't seem very likely. Maybe some perfume. Although this was for guys, right? So even though it says perfume, it said for males. I could give her this brooch. The gloves don't seem like they're good for her. The swimsuit, no. Rose in a glass, maybe. Zantetsuken, no. Hungry caterpillar, I don't know. Would you think that that thing's cute? I have no idea. Sacred tree spring, meteorite arrowhead, school crest. I don't know, what would she like? Should I just give her the rose hip tea and hope for the best? I almost feel like I should save that for like I don't know. Maybe I'll give her the brooch. Although the brooch might seem like a good idea for the fashion girl. Damn it, what sounds good for her then? Rose in the rose in the rose in the glass? Who would I give this to if not her? I could give this to I don't know who else I would give this to. If I, I'm like if I'm gonna go with one of the girls. I'm not going to give it to the fashion girl. I'm not going to give it to the shy girl. I'm not going to give it to the, the swimming girl or the buff girl. So then there's just the creepy girl. You know, the, the clairvoyant one. No, no, that's the guy. What is the other two girls? The one we don't know, which is... Is Celeste the one we don't know? Or is the other one? It starts with a K. Kimiko or something like that. Kyo or something. Um... It's either her... No, one of them's a liar. We wouldn't give it to the liar, which is Celeste. So the other girl is the one we don't know anything about. You know what? I, you know what? I'm gonna give her this. Screw it. Have a rose. <sighs> to receive so something so wonderful makes me happy, but... I'm so happy! To get it from you, Makoto, I can't begin to describe the feeling. Cool. That's good. I guess I chose wisely. Listen, may I ask you just one question? So polite again. What's going on? Um... So polite again, I'd like to ask. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, uh, that's like way out of nowhere. Um, are you embarrassed? Does that mean you do? N no, I don't. A girlfriend? No, not at all. Um, listen. Do you at least have a crush on someone? Just, just wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you asking all these questions? <laughs> I was just curious, so I thought I'd ask. Is that bad? It's not that it's bad. I... It's only natural that I'd be curious, right? Because we're... We're because we're classmates going through the same thing together. Classmates, what? huh? Although it's not all there is to it. You and I are more than just classmates. More than that? We're friends. We've been friends since middle school, in a way. That's true. Yeah, we're friends for now. Uh, um, so, aren't you gonna ask me? Huh? What? Um. No. Listen. Not what? Aren't you gonna ask me if I have a boyfriend or not? I mean, it's not like I don't want to know, of course. I want to know. You're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Oh, no. Nope. Definitely don't. Truth is, I'm way too busy for things like that. 
then do you have a crush on someone? <laughs> I wonder. Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. Okay, and she stared straight into my eyes. I could swear her cheeks were tinged with red. Wait, me? But, but I need to put those feelings aside for now. Getting him out of here is all that matters. Yeah, you're right. Hey, um... Let's get out of here together, Makoto, no matter what. Please don't turn your back on me, okay? Uh, of course, I would never turn my back on you. Why would I do such a dumb thing? I want you to know something, Makoto. And I want you to know what, that I meant it. I can't fake my feelings. That's good. I'm really glad you're here. When she smiled at me like that, I could feel my entire body filling with power. It was like her smile was a source of pure energy. My friendship with her is my one source of courage. My bond with her makes me stronger, so I have to do my best to keep her for myself and for Sayaka! <laughs> I'm so happy you're going to do your best for me. What? You heard me? Like I said, I'm psychic. God damn it! Is she actually psychic or not? She needs to cut this shit out. Okay. Yeah, you have really good intuition, you liar. Um... But is that really what you were thinking? Um, well... Anyway, let's just help each other out and get out of here no matter what it takes. I'm gonna do my best for sure. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to work together and do our best. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I carved those words into the walls of my soul. Alright, and the report card has been updated and my maximum skill points have increased. Hey, look at you go. Look at me go, guys. Look at me go. After vowing to say I could give it to my all, I went back to my room. Okay. Now what? Do we have more free time? I wonder how this works. There's still lots of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Okay. Do we have more free time? Or... I don't know. It didn't say free time like it usually does. Did I explore my room? Like, I mean, I did earlier, but, like, did I explore it and, like, get coins out of it already? Whether or not that's actually a thing? I guess... I mean, I did explore the room. That's not news. But I'm just making sure that, like... I think we I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I didn't look at the sword once we took it with us though, did we? Uh-huh. I guess check the trash can again. Alright, well I guess somebody somebody told me, which is really the only question I needed or the only answer I needed, which was uh Um that the coins reset per chapter. So you don't really have to look around again until you're done with a chapter. Then you can go back to looking around again. For, for coins specifically. Um, but otherwise, there's other ways to get coins that we haven't ex discovered yet. And that's all I really needed to know. Good good on you, whoever said that, for saying nothing else. Thank you for that. That's all I needed to know. Anyway, what's up, Sayaka? What are you doing? <laughs> After a walk, Makoto? I wouldn't mind if you invited me along. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. I'm not hanging out with you all day. I already hung out with you once. Let's pick somebody else for a little while, shall we? Um, the question is, who else is around? Mm -hmm. Everybody seems to have moved. I guess we could just press square. No, which button does the map? Wait, which button gives me the fucking thing that tells me where everyone is? Which button did that? One of these buttons was like, hey, everybody is in this area. Was it that one? Was it that one? Um, no. Nope, that's the wrong button. Nope. Okay. I already forgot how to do it. Was it when I had the map up and I pressed square? No. Um, was it when I did that? No. Okay, well, who gives a fuck then, I guess? All right. Well, let's just look around. Screw it. Who, who do I want to hang out with? I don't know. The real question is, is there anyone I would prefer to hang out with? A Yonose at this point. Oh, look, there's my, there's my friend. Sup, girl? Well, I'm not going to stand around and talk to everybody right now. I'm gonna just going to decide who I want to talk to. Um, so... Do I want to go with just all girls? I'm kind of leaning toward just hanging out with all the girls, because fuck all the guys. I'd rather talk to the girls anyways, for multiple reasons. They're more interesting to me anyways, because they're more mysterious overall. The guys all seem pretty fucking obvious to me. I don't know, can we go with this lying-ass girl? Wait, she's the liar one, right? Or was the other one the liar one? Now I'm confusing myself. Were you the liar one? I don't Most remember. Most unfortunate. Now. Does this school not have a dry cleaning service? Now, how terribly upsetting. What am I supposed to do if my clothes become soiled? Hmm. Huh. I don't know if I want to hang out with you quite yet. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Let's see, there's that guy. I don't want to talk to him. He's not my preference at the moment. 
I gotta have I'm gonna have to go in some rooms to find everyone, I'm sure. Let's see. Let's see if there's anyone out here in the main hall. Anybody here? Nobody here, huh? Is there anything else to look at here? Anything here yet? See, the other thing I want to make sure is that I look around every free time because, if I remember correctly, it did say something about events during free time, and I don't know what that means yet. I'm wondering if there's anything to prompt me whether or not there's like an event happening at some point. So I'm just gonna check every room just real quick to see wherever, kind of see wherever, what everybody's doing. I don't need to be in here. It doesn't take too long to check all the rooms. It really doesn't. Okay, I was just in there. That was the main. I wanted to go to the gym. Actually, the gym's all the way the fuck over here. I don't know why I didn't go all the way over here. Let's see if there's anybody hanging out in here. Anybody in this room? All right, nobody in here. What about in the gym? here. Nobody in here playing ball? Nobody? Nobody at all, huh? Surprises me how little people are just hanging around in random places. I guess they're staying together more than I expected originally. I thought they'd be more freaking like spread out, but maybe because people haven't started hating each other yet. They have no reason to start hating each other. Let me see if there's a dude still hanging out in the boys' room. Nope. Good. That's where, uh, Taka was. I gotta start trying to like commit all names to memory. Also, that guy's here. I didn't see him there before. Was he there a minute ago? I didn't remember seeing him there. Maybe I just didn't fucking turn at him. Anyway, he's here. Um, let's check the AV room. I'm definitely gonna pick a girl. I just gotta figure out which girl I want to pick. Nobody in here again either? Dang, man. Everybody just fucking vacated the areas. There was people in there before. Okay. Let's try. I already tried that room. You can't go in there. Um, oh, we can check the classrooms. That's right. I forgot about the classrooms. Anybody hanging out in the classes? Wow, nobody in this one. Okay. Okay, where's everybody going to be? Is there going to be one place where there's just hella people? Classroom B? Nobody. Wow. What is up with just nobody? Wait. Does that say something different? This blackboard belongs to us now. Secret beauty. Huh. Did it say something different before? I forgot. Did that say something different earlier? I might have forgot. Anyway, let's go back on this side. See if anybody's in the cafe. Kind of want to talk to one of the girls. I might even go with Sakura if I think about it, really. I don't know if I want to hit up Celeste quite yet. Oh, here's this guy. This fucking guy. Byakuya. Let's check the, uh, the kitchen and see if anybody's in there. Oh, fat guy's here, of course. What's up, fat I guy? Feel as if I'm glad you came! No, not hanging out with you, dude. Not today, bro. Not today. Although I kind of want to hang out with him just to see what kind of fucking ridiculousness he gets into. But you know what? who I should hang out with is somebody I have presents for. That's who I should hang out with. Although, like I said, this first time we hang out with them, almost pointless um, to waste shit on them. Let's check the laundry room. That's pretty much the only other main room left other than the, uh, the trash room. All right? That's the rest. Okay, here you go. Two girls in here. Nice. Hi! Hey, Makoto. Slacking off again, huh? Hmm. No. I'm kind of leaning toward maybe hanging out with Aoi Owie for a minute. I don't know. It's either her, either Aoi, or I really want to hang out with the shy girl. I want to see what she's all about, kind of. But you know what? Okay. I'll do this one. Each and every person has their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got it. That's a quote from the famous rugby player, Yuji Matsuo. We got to do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Hina. Okay, cool. So her name is Hina. Wait. Why are they going with Hina? I like a Owie. I like calling her Owie. I'm going to call her Owie, and I'm going to hang out with her. I have a swimsuit for her, so I'm hanging out with her. Yeah. You want to go for a run to relieve some stress? Some of this stress? I don't know what to do with her voice, honestly. Because, like, like, too many girl voices. I can't do them all. Anyway. Hina and I went for a light run through the school. Cool. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. Let's just go for it, dude. I'm just gonna give the presents, man. I have them. Might as well give them. Would you like 
Would you like a uh, water-loving swimsuit? I wouldn't mind giving it to you. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. I mean, not like, like, like you. Not that kind of like. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave makes me happy. Mm. Oh man, oh man. What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. What? what? How come? <laughs> How come does it matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race! Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. That's right! Really? Well, I don't want a solo run. Well, wait, wait, hold on. You always seem so excited, Mina. What's your deal? Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, no, I'm just depressed. Mm. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah. Yeah. Like, he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. Mm. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. It means you're weak. Wow. You did stuff like that and didn't get sick? You got it all wrong. Getting sick is for the weak! Oh, wow. She really does go there. <laughs> if you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training. Whoa, this girl's hardcore fucking swimmer. Training, huh? So, like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. See, you're soft! You need more training! Okay. Okay. I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? Uh, what kind of remedy? Yeah! Actually, I do this myself every morning. You just strip down to your waist, then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. I call it... I call it, a. Uh, huh? What do I call it again? Way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin? Let's take a shot at this. Well, I mean, the other two don't make any sense, so we'll go with towel treatment. Is it something like towel treatment? You got it! Oh my god, yeah, that's it! I love going out of my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels so amazing! I never let a morning pass without getting a good rub in a good rub down. Wait, so you went out on your balcony and stripped down? And you were okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I'd hate to see you catch a cold or something. Okay. This girl is dedicated and does things that only only fat Hufumi could freaking think about, you know? Anyway, after being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. Okay. That was an interesting conversation. I don't know why I picked her. I just decided I didn't want to wander around anymore, mostly. And I said I wanted to pick a female. Is it is it 10 p.m. already? That was fast. All right. <clears throat> this is All right, skipping. Soon skipping. The doors to the dining hall will be locked. Okay. Skipping. Same shit he said yesterday. I'm skipping that from now on. Anyway, the third day here has already come to an end. When will I? No, we. When are we gonna get out of here? You already heard, dude. There's only one way out. I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling, and before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. Monokuma Theater Part 3! Here we go. I need an immediate, fast-acting pick-me-up! If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course! That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a piece of ex excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or the breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is better than a graphic novelist. Or smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick-me-up. Meanwhile, point zero 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 two seconds later. Okay. That was an interesting one, but all right, cool. Now it's morning time. So far, I guess everybody is held to the curfew thing that we all set for ourselves. Good it seems. morning, everyone. Seven a.m. Rise and shine. Another beautiful day. Woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Yeah. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, Bing Bong. The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Well then, maybe we should answer the dough. Hello! Oh god. A fantastic morning, isn't it? Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption! Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Okay. What's up, Taka? What's up, Taka? <laughs> no matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted! You agree, right? Um. 
I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. Can you, like, talk in fucking English and not fucking poetic fucking screams? I was thinking about it last night and I decided we all really need to come together. And that was when I realized... Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and, listen. and now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it. That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. <laughs> Pocket didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I'd better head to the dining hall. I don't want Taka to murder me, you know. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're going to the dining hall. We might as well just follow the story. I don't want to waste too much time wandering around if I've already found all the coins for this. Well, I mean, I assume I found all the coins. I don't know I found all the coins. Anyway, what's what's she doing over here? Hello, did Taka wake you up already? Uh, um, Toko? What's your problem? What? what? Uh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head into the dining hall, right? <laughs> I know, I just need to prepare myself. Mm, silly. Prepare herself? What the hell is she talking about? I I'm so <laughs> nervous. What's she so nervous about? Okay, well, I guess it's a good thing I talked to her then, because now she's going to go. And she's just probably nervous because she doesn't like hanging out with everybody, you know what I mean? Anyway, is everyone here? Let's see. Oh, looks like, is everybody here, though? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and I am 15. So everyone's here. All right. Do we just start with Taka? Let's do it. Listen to me. Okay. Looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Give me a break. This is Leon. Okay. I didn't make time for shit. You dragged me here, hmm. man. I know. I know. I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. Okay. <laughs> you want to eat breakfast <laughs> with, with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah. It's been a while for me, too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything it can be, or anything, it can be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. <laughs> oh, huh? What? Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop Ooh. it! What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So, you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah. What? Sounds like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of shit. No way in hell I'm living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Feel free. Huh. Uh, okay, so nobody has any clues, huh? What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all... Wait. One one thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, it sure would be something like that. It could be something like that. But for now, for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Uh, yeah? What's up? Um, if you think in terms of people who are abnormal and or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? What do you mean? What are you trying to say? A murderous fiend? Chiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Got it. Certainty is not... <laughs> certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you, ha you may have. You know? Okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? The fuck? Is that like Captain Jack's fucking twin fucking... I, I don't even have a joke. Is that it's like Genocide Jack? Is that some kind of like fucking whiskey that kills you? Uh, yeah. Anyway, you know, you mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? Uh... The monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in a brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each, at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. 
Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes with that warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. <sighs> they say he's claimed over a thousand victims, man. Mm. That's just an urban legend, though, right? I mean, even like ten people would be totally insane. Mm. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But... But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything, it's just a thought. Hey, hold on! But if there's a killer, isn't that like a killer or, uh... Isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Sorry, that was a weird way you said that, but I got yeah. it. It's okay. Everything's absolutely positively 100% without a doubt gonna be okay. Because help's gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it. Huh? Help! Because, I mean... We've been stuck here in a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us. I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> oh my god, who the fuck was that? Was that the fat guy? Or was it... Oh no, that was Teddy. That was my Teddy friend, never mind. What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Ah. <laughs> what are you doing here? You guys. You guys, seriously? Do you understand what the rule the what role the police exists to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against the villain or an anti-hero or an evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> Are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. I mean, come on! If you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill! <laughs> what the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed with the commitment to this whole act, man. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? <laughs> hey, come on. We know who you really are. Mm, maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a hey, bitch. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. <laughs> I mm. thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you could say that'll make us start kill- Oh, so that's me. <laughs> There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got Wait, it. I think yes! Ding ding ding! I figured it out. In other words, all the mystery ingredients are here, right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What are you? Ching. If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, um... Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch! Stop changing the goddamn subject! Hmm. I have a little video I'd like all of you to see. Ooh. Oh, but don't worry. It's, it's not some pervy exciting. adult video or anything. Seriously, it, it's something like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's all going on outside the school. Dude, are all these kids going to be intertwined with each other in some way outside the school where they're going to want to, like, get rid of each other? Or, or... Are they just going to be super motivated to get out of the school quickly because they're all their lives are going downhill without them? That's pretty much what Popstar Chick was worried about, right? Because she's not out there, she's worried her popularity is going to be disappearing. So maybe that's the case. Because they're not out there doing their thing, being ultimate shit, they're going to want to get out of here now. That's pretty much the two motivations I can think of. Either they're intertwined or they want to get out of here for a reason. So let's see what this video is. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. Hey, hey! Ooh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good. Then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. Hmm. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from you? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know... Despair. That's all. Just despair. Just despair. Well now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Hmm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want to use it from you too. Oi, oi. Anyway, he's gone. 
And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really. I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However... Perhaps. But what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Hey, Makoto. Check this out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? R rule of what? Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Piece of shit! Hey! Stop fucking around. You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the deal? Just check it out real quick, okay? Uh, okay. I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. And we're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. So, what the... Um... I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd like to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then, where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... If it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then... I know exactly where it is. It's right... Um... Not in this area. Um... But anyway, let's go do that. But, as I was gonna say, is... Why the fuck do they not all want to watch this video? Why does... Makoto and Sakaya... Sayaka... Why are they the two designated to go check this video? I, I don't know. It's very interesting. Why doesn't? Why is everybody else not like? Oh, I want to know. I'm just curious why nobody else is like gung ho to watch this video. Anyway, uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, DVD time, baby. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It should be able to play DVDs, but I don't see any actual discs. I brought. I brought the discs. Yo, what the fuck? Uh... What? Um, what? We should probably look around a bit more. This is where we can play videos, I think. It is! Huh, there's something inside this cardboard box. Oh, here you go. There you go. A bunch of DVDs. And each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be, must be the video for each of us, he mentioned. Hold on a Better second. go tell everyone. Oh, okay. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her, I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. What? Carbo box. What do you mean you think you see something? Next to the monitor, blah blah blah. Oh shit, what? I sorted through the DVDs and I'd found in the box and found the one with my name on it. Then I slid it into the expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen and then... Uh oh. Video time? I yelled out without realizing, and my heart started racing. Because what I saw on the monitor was my family. I'm guessing sister, mom, and dad right here. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. Uh-huh. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, <coughs> it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, a even a little embarrassed. If my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, it was totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Geek Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like. Something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. God damn it, there's your motivation. Alright, so I was right. They're going to give everyone motivation to want to leave this place. 
because something is going on the outside that they want to go take care of. And in Makoto's case, his family. Makes sense. He wants to go check on them to see if they're alive and well. It all sounds like it could be bullshit, though. We'll see. We'll see. What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought rose racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now! I need to make sure everyone's safe! And there you go. The motivation has begun. It was that easy. Anyway, Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um, what's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it, like... Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. Didn't take long for them to react. What the... What the fuck? <laughs> this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on. Yeah, no way it's real, man. Huh? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Let me get out of here. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion, except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Hey, she understands right away. Interesting. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a good sign of faith. Or whatever, sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisibility, invisible treachery, becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> That sounds like kind of like us right now. Everyone says the work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. <laughs> Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You could say that, but maybe you're just the that once. Maybe you're. <sighs> why can I not read this guy's dialogue? It's like the worst. Like, I don't know why. You could say that, but maybe you're j you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just. What? what? what is hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We, we all need to calm down. So then. Okay then, maybe we should all start by just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everyone at, get everything out of our system. Hmm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. Uh-oh. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just don't hurry up and tell us. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. S Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh? Sayaka? That's enough. Mm, let her go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I just, just I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do, do whatever you think you have to do? We don't all have to stick together, round together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka! Okay. Um... Is, this a re is there a reason to talk to everybody right now? Let's see. What was in your video, Taka? I, I, oh, sorry, that was me talking. What was in your video, Taka? I saw! Sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out how to put it into words. Okay, so nobody's gonna tell me right now, are they? Hero, what do you think? Uh, hey, the cat, uh, these videos are some kind of hooks, right? Right? I wanna think so, but. What the hell? What the hell, man? <laughs> this is all one big live. It has to be, bro. It has to be. Uh. What should I do? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? Mm. Why? How can yeah. something like this even exist? I just don't understand. I don't... To be able to do something like that. Is it because they really are the murderous fiend? Oh, good question. What about Fat Boy back there? What was in your video, Hafumi? 
Mm -hmm. So, before you go asking someone else, it's only polite that you say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I... Why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. If I don't hear yours, I don't have to say mine. It's the art of see no evil, hear no evil, uh, speak no evil. Uh, I don't think that's how it works, but okay. Sub Sakura. What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My bad. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Damn. But still, I refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? Huh. Interesting. What was in your video, Kyoko? Well... Why should I tell you? Oh, fine. Everyone doesn't want to say, even though everyone's clearly something that's motivating them. Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far. I should check around the ski. Alright, we're checking. Hey, Owie, what up, girl? Um... Where'd Saika run off to? Anyway, that video was pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. But it's fake, right? It has to be. I'd like to believe that, but uh, if it was real, bad things, bad, bad things. Let's see if she ran to the door. I'm, I'm going to guess the door. I'd run for the door and just be like, fuck. If she's here, that wouldn't... Oh, he's at the door. What's up, dude? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, and that's all there is to it. Uh, what? Uh, I'm not going to mm. tell you. No way. Hell no. No way in hell. You... You're just acting all nice, so I'll tell, we'll tell you what you want to hear. You can't fool me. What the hell? Damn it. How the hell did they get footage of that? Oh, shit. I want... Man, I really want to know what everybody's video is. I really hope we get to figure out what everybody's video is. That's going to be so interesting to me, to figure out what all their motivations are. Even though, you could probably give it, like... They're all probably going to be kind of obvious, I think. Like, they're all going to be, like, scandals, or, you know, they're going to lose whatever if they don't get... go go You know, something... They're going to lose something if they don't go back. Whatever they hold most precious, basically. But more important. Hey, Makoto, aren't you, like, super curious what's in everyone's videos? I mean, I can't say I'm not curious. <laughs> oh, that was me. Okay. Right, I could totally tell. But does that mean you're going to tell me what was in yours? Mm. Mm, who knows? It all depends on what kind of mood I'm in, you know? I don't think she's going to tell me. Nope. Not bloody likely. Anyway, I'm looking for my girl right now. Sorry if I don't care about you as much as you might want me to. As much as you might want me to, I don't want to talk to you. Peace out, girl, with that tie. Alright, so not over here. Let's try... We tried the main place. I don't think she's going to be in the store. I just doubt it. Let's check back over here. Not there. Let's go ahead and check. We check a classroom? I mean, some people were gone from the AV room, so we should try to find everyone and just kind of see if we can find everybody and see what they have to say. Like, here. Here she is. I found her. That was fast. Hey, Sayaka. What's up? You look a little freaked out. I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or... No. Uh-oh. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Saika? Are you okay? Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no! How could I possibly be fine? What did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want out! Let me out of here right now! Saika, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now when I think what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, people out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Oh shit. Sayaka? 
Please, help me. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. <gasps> huh. Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Can I, can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely. Makoto. You're the only one I can trust, so please. No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Huh? Of, of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I... I can get through this, as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. Yay. Okay. The smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. Felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. Oh, hey. god damn it. It's standing up! Huh? <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up! What's standing up, you idiot? Do you even have to ask? Yes. Your flagpole! Get the... Oh. Dirty jokes. Who doesn't love dirty jokes? Anyway, get the hell out of here, man. No, 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 I want to join in. Damn it. Well, if you don't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos, man. Ah, it's about to come out. It's going to come out my pristine, pure white yeah. stomach. <laughs> my honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I balled my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Wah! Are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. But boy, are you slow, 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 slow! I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. Um, what the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um, well, for now, uh, you want to just head back? Yeah. Back. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we just created. Sayaka and, and I headed back to the dorms. You should get some rest, Sayaka. You look still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm gonna go lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Okay. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It's hard to think, after watching that deranged video, I needed some rest of my own. 